Welcome back to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Thank you all for joining me in Margaret's Kitchen. Today is Holy Thursday, so we're Lenten week, Holy Week, and but so today's like a day I'm going to just make whatever, right? So I'm going to make a snack for me and my grandsons because I'm going to teach them actually after this how to make capirotada, bread pudding, sopa. But I'm going to teach the boys how to make it their way. But anyways, remember a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Like my channel, please. And um, if you haven't ordered my cookbook, www.nmcookbookmariafaca.com. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I love it, love it, love it. God bless you all. I love it. Um, continue praying for me. I've had shingles. That's why none of you have seen a new video for a little bit. So anyways, I'm doing much better. Um, thank God for la favor de mi tata Dios. I am doing so much better. I had internal shingles and they were a nightmare. But anyways, remember, always be nice. I know somebody said, stop saying to be nice, but you know what? Be nice. You know, it doesn't hurt to be nice to people. It's okay. You know, brush off, brush it off. Anyways, and do your squats, do your squats. But anyway, so I'm going to make a, um, <laughs> this is like my favorite when I go to a, a Mexican restaurant, not New Mexico, but a Mexican restaurant and, or in Mexico or whatever, you know, for whatever. Anyways, and it's uh, made with chorizo and, um, uh, and it's made like with a, um, I'm going to use a Oaxaca cheese today. And I'm going to use this chorizo. It's a pork chorizo. And, um, I, you know, I don't mind using this without this. So anyways, I'm going to put two of the chorizos in here. And then we'll warm the warm some tortillas, you know, like steamed tortillas for the, for the dip. You're going to love it. This is so good. I just love this stuff. So anyways, look, here's all the chorizo. So I'm putting two chorizos in here. Ooh, you can hear it, a sizzling. Okay, there's one. I'm going to do two. And I'm going to cook it low because you don't want your chorizo to, you know, I say, you know, you don't want that to happen. And, um, and stuff. So I'm going to, um, get my little cucharita. And I'm going to break it up a little bit. So anyways, and I'm using a deeper pan. So see, look. And I'll move the, the camera as I can. So let me open up another one. And this is two. And how many ounces is this? I bet it's uh, nine ounces. So 18 ounces of chorizo. I like this chorizo for this one. Usually I use um, a different chorizo. I use the Peyton. But I love this. And I can never pronounce the, the one in Spanish. So um, it's queso uh, fundido or something to that effect. But anyways, I call it a, a, a chorizo cheese dip. <laughs> so anyways, but that's what that is. So let me put it all in here. So this is going to be our snack for we're teaching, well, I'm teaching the boys how to make um, uh, capinotada, bread pudding, whatever you want to call it. And people call it bread pudding. People call it um, sopa and others call it capinotada. So that's what that is. So anyways, this is what's, what's the cooking in Margaret's kitchen. Yeah. Anyways, so let me throw this away. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I'm gonna do, what I do do is that it doesn't burn this way. So, you know, you don't want to scorch your, I'm going to move this a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. A little bit see so I'm just gonna cook it up but what I'm gonna do also is I am gonna put a lid on it I'm gonna mix it a little bit and then put the lid on it this way you keep all your moisture in here and you're gonna have the you are going to have it's full of grease so look the lid doesn't fit but it's all good not a problem you know and so anyways, and this is the cheese I'm going to use today. And um, it's the Oaxaca cheese. And you know what? It's like mozzarella. But I like this cheese. That's what I grow with it. I love this cheese. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. And it's actually the same brand as the chorizo. 
So I figured if I'm going to use that brand of chorizo, I'm going to use the same, you know, of the, you know, of the cheese and stuff. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And God, you guys, everything's been, been a crazy around here. You know, I mean, just a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening and, and whatnot. But you know what? God is good. He's amazing. And, um, he knows, he knows your heart, you know, he knows our heart. And so, and he knows and that's all that matters. So anyways, yeah, so let's see how it's, and look, it's going to look at, see the steam, a little bit of steam coming out. And you just want that moisture. You just really want that moisture. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> this looks amazing. And look at how it just breaks down, watch. See? I'm gonna put the camera here. Maybe I can move it down just a little bit because I want you to, to watch how it's doing this now. See? And we just want it to just cook nicely. See, I have to figure ways of, of working my camera without, you know, because I don't always have help, so. You know, my son-in-law David's not always here, so, you know, he works. I mean, my goodness. So I'm going to cover it back up and let it continue cooking. Okay. Let's check it out. Woo! Look at that. Ooh. And look at that. Yum, yum. And the cast iron is the best. I love my like, little cast iron skillets. I really, really do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, you know, shredding the, the cheese. I'm going to start shredding it. So I have, you know, I'm going to, I left that there. That way you guys can kind of see what's going on with the, you know, with the food. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred my cheese. I'm going to move the camera just a tiny bit. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start doing, you know, doing the cheese. I'm going to break it in half. I don't need a knife. Mm, yum. You know, like I said, it's like a, um, it is like a um, mozzarella. And... This one is just perfect for this dip. And you know, my grandson, my youngest grandson, he loves chorizo. And he loves cheese, so I know that he's just going to appreciate this, this dip. And like I said, it's just a fun dip. We're always, um, we always make a bunch of appetizers, you know. And palutan in, in um, Filipino, in Tagalog, it's called palutan. So we love to have a lot of palutan. And so by the time we eat the main course, ya estamos bien llenos. Ya estamos bien llenos. We're full, full from all that, you know? Yeah. And so, Logan, how do you, what do you think of the, do you want to mix the chorizo for me? My Logan's here. And my Zachary. There you go. Watch the camera on your side. There you back up the camera since my Logan is here to help him and Zachary are here helping. How does it look, Hito? Looks Zachary, good. how does it look for being chorizo, love? The chorizo that you like? Nice. Don't block the camera, Hito. Okay. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. What do you think, Zachy? Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let it finish uh, cooking because we don't really want that moisture. So you don't bang the pans, Hito. Never bang the pans because then, then you chip them. Mm -hmm. They learn from Gami not to bang pans. They gotta learn. <laughs> and stuff. So anyways, and then they're um, also helping their papa outside. So this way they help a little bit. I'm gonna shred all of this. I don't think I'll use both both um, guesses. Oh, the 
this cheese but it, it is it's like that mozzarella but like i said it's just um this is like i said anybody goes out to eat with us and we go to a mexican restaurant they know i'm gonna order this because i just love it so learning to make it you know there's so many different desserts that you can do you know and uh desserts <laughs> you know where i'm thinking uh so many different appetizers that you can um that you can make and i love it oh yeah that's a lot of good stuff and it takes a lot of cheese you know because um that's just what makes this this dish you know is that cheese oh and some people will put like make it a little hotter because of the chorizo but i i like just the chorizo as you know i'm not going to add any more chili or anything like that Like I said, so that's 18 ounces. That was 18 ounces of the of the chorizo. And then each of these packages are what? Let me see. Oh, 10 ounces. So it's 10 ounces of the Oaxaca cheese is what you're gonna use. Or 10 ounces of, of the mozzarella. And so, it should be nice. So I have this little bowl here because what I'm gonna do is I am going to remove this for a second. I'm going to remove some of the chorizo because I like to use it for the top, you know, just for decoration, right? Okay. Oh, I love this. See, it's just un poquitito, just for the top, just to kind of sprinkle it on top. And I'm going to leave it open for a little bit. Now I'll bring you closer since my hijitos aren't in here right now. Okay. So you can still see some of the, the you know, the grease, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to turn the heat up just a tiny bit. Let it cook a little bit longer. Okay. Ooh, yep, this is how we want it. See it? And the reason I use the deeper um, cast iron is because of the, you know, the grease splatters when you don't have the lid on it. And so that's why I use my deeper cast iron and stuff so I don't want it to you know dirty my stove completely you know and stuff so okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the cheese on top and it takes a lot of it, it's gonna I want to put all the cheese in here Because that's what makes this so delicious. <laughs> I use it all because I love cheese. Can you guys see this? See? Okay, now this little bit that I have left right here in the bowl that I that I hit mix. I like to just kind of spread a little bit on top. Mira, mira que suave. And this is a finger food, so, you know, it's okay to grab it, you know, get your tortilla and put it in there and stuff, you know. 
But if you want a really fun, easy, easy uh, appetizer, this is perfect. And sometimes it's just good with, you know, even just to eat it like a quesadilla more or less, you know. Okay. There that is. I'm going to cover it for just a minute. Let's just cover it for a little bit. Okay, now in the meantime, well, that's just, uh, you know, the cheese is melting, everything's marrying each other, coordinating, you know, just everything. You just want it to just marinate, marry each other, that cheese and the chorizo and stuff. So anyways, in the meantime, I'm going to get my corn tortillas, just a few corn tortillas. And I love using my, and, and I have to say, this is my Pampered Chef um, tortilla warmer. I use it for everything, let, let me tell you. I use it for everything because I'll use it for to put baked potatoes and fill the no pampered chef doesn't pay me to say all that. I'm just telling you that's what I'm using because everybody's gonna ask and stuff. So, and so I'm gonna put them in here and I don't have to do anything, you know, and stick them in the in the micro asina, put them in for a few uh, just a couple like 30 seconds and they'll steam up. So I'm gonna do 30 and let it go. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get me um, a little uh, platito. I'm gonna just use a paper plate. That way you can see how um, how it, um, you know, how we eat it. Mm, yum! Ah! I love it. Love. I just like appetizers, that's all there is to it. Hey, I'm not like this because I don't like appetizers, right? But that's what we got, do your squats, do your squats. Let me put these away. Okay, let's see where it's at. My tortitas, yeah, I'm gonna leave them in there just a couple more minutes. A couple 30 more seconds and stuff. So anyway, so in the meantime, oh my God, yeah. Oh my god. This is amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna do as I got my handy dandy handsome grandsons and we're gonna we're gonna try it and stuff. So let's see. So I'm gonna get my look at that. See the steam? Look at that, look at that. And that's what you need. You need a good corn tortilla. And then let's get some other queso. <clears throat> let's see. Okay, here's yours. We'll try it all together. Let's see. Let me make you one, Zaki. Thank you. You're welcome. Does it look great? What do you think? It does. It looks really good. My connoisseur grand grandsons. Here's Zaki. Here's yours, my love. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do. So pretty cheesy. It is, huh? Okay, let me let me get mine. Ooh. I love this stuff. Okay, come. Okay, boys, let's see. It's down here. Alrighty. Let's see. Buen provecho. Here he goes. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's really, that's they really, laugh at me because I like to dance. That's really good. What do you think, Zaki? Because you're the one that. What do you think? It's good. It's good. You like it? Tell tell our audience what you guys. It's very flavorful. It's very really flavorful. good. You should make it, it. It's creamy. It's easy to make and um, it's really good. Really flavorful. You guys should, should make it. Very cheesy. Very yes. stretchy. <laughs> stretchy. I know because the cheese is so, it's melty, huh? It's yeah. like mm -hmm. melted and, and whatnot. Yeah, good flavor. Um, and if it cools down a little bit, you could probably just like bite into it, huh? Yeah. And <laughs> I, these boys. 
This would be good with some eggs too. Really? Like some, some eggs? Mm -hmm. Like a burrito too? Yes. It'd be really good. This is delicious. Oh my god. Look at this. And look at how all the way around. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. And this is that Mexican cheese at Oaxaca. Mm. So this is really delicious. You guys, yeah, thank really you. Good. Thank you for being a part of my kitchen. Thank you for just joining me. Don't forget to, you know, if you haven't ordered my cookbook, please do so. NM Cookbook, MariaBaca.com. www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Be nice, okay? Treat people nice. And don't forget, do your squats. Do your squats. And just thank you. Bye. Adios. Bye. Buen provecho. Yeah. <laughs>